Hey guys, how's it going? Jamil FIFA Gaming is here with another video talking about FIFA 20 career mode and we are going to take a look on some of the best and least expensive and potential players to buy or to get them on loan deal for you to build not that rich team and try to compete on cups at the end of your season. So let's go and choose a team. Honestly, I will choose AC Milan. It's a great team that has a lot of potential and a lot of great players that can build and uh, develop their performance. And they are the mid-level team. As we can see, their transfer budget is 35 million only. So we choose AC Milan, legendary, sterling. Keep it on dollars, enable, enable. Uh, we need to make sure that AC Milan are not competing in any European competition and that's our goal to make them inside these competitions and to compete with the big teams like Real Madrid and UV for the European competitions. First of all, make sure to advance to invites to play some preseason tournaments so you can earn some more money. Let's choose this, the European International Cup. It will give you 11 million dollars at the end of it, even though you didn't win it. So let's go to the squad. AC Milan formation is 4-2-3-1. I prefer to choose it to 4-2-3-1 wide. We have Zlatan Ibrahimovic as a striker, Sonagolo as a attacking midfield, Castillejo, Ben Nasser and Kese, Rebic, Hernandez, Romagnoli, Kair Conti and Donnarumma. So first they have a great goalkeeper, a great defender that is Romagnoli great left back and two right back Conti and Calabria so we can choose one of them and we can we need to keep both of them so we can compete all of over the season they have Liao he's a great striker he's still young so we can get him on loan deal uh, we have Bonaventura he's a great midfielder also Paqueta we can send him on some long-term loan deals and Bilia a great midfielder defensive midfielder and Laxat he's a good substitute so when you need to change or to control the game with some fast players he's the one for you so what are the players that are needed to complete this formation or squad for AC Milan First, we need a better CDM than Ben Nasser, so we can depend on him. It's important to send Ben Nasser on some long, long-term loan deal. He will, his potential will grow, and he will become like 80 or 81 when he come back to your team. So you can depend on him at that time. And we need some left winger, or we can choose Shannon Oglo but it's better to buy a new winger and as a striker Rebic is on loan for AC Milan so make sure he's a great player, great striker make sure to depend on him and as the next season you need to buy him he play with Intract Frankfurt so make sure you buy Rebic because Latan Ibrahimovic will retire at the end of this season Castillejo is great he will he will grow his potential will grow and his shooting passing so he's a good player to keep on your team and also we need another defender other than Kair because he's also on a deal on a loan deal from Sevilla so the three players we need a central back central back is not that important for your first season because Kair is good we need a central defensive midfield left winger or right winger and we need a central attacking midfield or the magician that he can build and create some great place for your strikers here as Rebic so we go 
to the transfers search player so we need a center attacking midfield a CDM and a right winger or left winger for this season to build on a winning team and a great team I prefer to choose Draxler for the CAM he is a great player and he's fast he's good at passing as creating some chance and he not cost you a lot between 30 and 40 million not more for sure and his his weekly wage is low so you can buy him and another great player that maybe most of you won't think of is Fred that play with Manchester United is still only 26 and he's fast and he's great at cutting some balls so he's a CDM that we will depend on I choose to depend on and he's also not that expensive so you can buy him between 20 and 25 million and as for the right winger or the left winger I prefer to choose Adama Traore he's a great player and a strong player he's so fast you can depend on him using this tactic the 4-2-3-1 and he will cost you it's not shown here but he will cost you between 20 and 30 million so these three players will cost you this season 70 million and you can do it with AC Milan because you have like 70 million and you can sell some of your players and send some of them on loan for your next season you need to detect Martin Odegaard he is now a player for Real Sociedad on loan but he will be free the next season and he will be with Real Madrid he is still young and has a great potential and he will cost you the next season between 40 and 50 million so he is a great player to think off. and as for our center back CB we have Mangala he play with Valencia he is a good player that he will develop his now Alicam Mangala he is now it's not shown here but he's 76 or 77 he will develop and grow so he will come 80 so you can depend on him the next year and he will cost you 18 million he's not too expensive it's not important for you to buy a center back this year because you have enough player to, to cover your your tired players or uh, defenders and here we go for the squad squad hub okay let's see we can Pepe Reina, he will retire not the, not the next season the later we can get this Donnarumma Antonio Donnarumma at to transfer list we have Bigovic he is our second keeper for this season until Plitzari come back and he will develop you don't need you don't depend on another keeper you have a great keeper Juan Ligi Donnarumma we we will wait for Rodriguez to come back and Bilodi we will sell him the next year Caldara is a great player you can recall from loan and get him back for approximately 1 million Duarte is good Gabia at transfer list we keep Musaccio or you can send him on loan so he will develop a little but because we have like four defenders it's more than enough two right backs that are great Bilia he's great we say to depend on Laxalt he's fast Paqueta we can send him on loan this Bonaventura he will play the, the second center attacking midfield so he's a good substitution to, to change him with or replace him with Draxler after we buy him or Shonanoglo Kronic at transfer list this player will not develop as you want Ben Nasser 
at loan list he's a good player that will develop and will become between 80 and 81 and he's a great passer he has a lot of potential to grow and as for Maldini release players so you can minimize the wage Halilovic you wait him to come back from loan he's a good player good substitution Castillejo is great we can terminate the loan of Sales Michaels, yes, Suso, a great player when he come back from loan at Sevilla. So we have like the two wingers, the midfielders, the attacking midfielders, and our striker Liao. Uh, sorry, not to transfer list to loan list. He's great. He will become like 80 or 81, and he's fast. And we have Rebic. Also, it's important to go and buy Rebic. The next year he will cost you between 30 and 40 million but he's a great striker that will replace greatly Zlatan Ibrahimovic that his season is the last one for our FIFA and Adrian Andre Silva when he is back from loan I didn't depend on him that much I sent him on loan again and his value will grow and you can buy sell him for between 25 and 30 million and Sadju let's give him on loan that's our episode for tonight guys so it's important to to buy great potential young players so you can build your team as we can see AC Milan is not that big team anymore in our five or six years so we can make him great again in fifa and we can buy a lot of great potential and young player youngest uh, young stars so we can build him and he can compete and maybe win the champions league after two seasons that's everything for tonight please comment your questions and inquiry down below and if you like this episode like and subscribe for our channel and see you guys